How many years is a laptop supposed to last? Three, five, seven? This is my ThinkPad X220, which helped me through college, three different full-time jobs, and every blog post I've written about my early retirement. And it's not done yet either, because this is still my only computer, after 12 years. Just maintaining old devices like this one, instead of constantly buying new ones, can save you thousands of dollars and keep e-waste from piling up in landfills. These were my laptop specs when I bought it in 2011. I'm gonna show you all the cheap updates I've done since then and how much they cost, with all the links in the video description. By the end, this list will look a lot more modern. Okay, so let's start with the free stuff first, software. My computer came with Windows 7, which was new at the time, but Stephen had convinced me to switch to Linux a year before and I was already pretty used to it by then. So we installed Ubuntu and never looked back. It's a lot lighter than Windows, which gave me a speed upgrade on day one. When I need access to Windows apps, I use a free program called VirtualBox, but Linux does almost everything I need it to for zero dollars. And as an added bonus, it's almost impossible to get viruses. Another piece of software most people overlook is their system BIOS. Updates were released for mine over the years, and I honestly never even knew about them until recently when I wanted to upgrade my Wi-Fi card and found out the replacement wouldn't work with my old BIOS. Now I have the shiniest, newest version. These updates are pretty much always free. Anyway, now it's time to talk about the actual hardware updates. Originally, I could only see 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks because that's what was most popular back in 2011. With my new wireless card, I can now access five gigahertz networks at higher speeds and the card supports Bluetooth too. So now I can play music over the wireless speaker on my porch, all for the low price of $14 on eBay. Yay. Now, I'm the person with so many tabs open in my web browser that that little arrow appears on the right-hand side of the screen. So another upgrade that was important for me was more memory. Luckily, Steven knows exactly what a girl wants and bought me 16 gigabytes of RAM for my birthday a few years ago. But probably the most noticeable upgrade we ever made to my computer's speed was switching from an old spinning 320 gig hard drive to a faster, lighter 480 gig solid state drive. The speed change was like night and day, and it only took one screw to replace. I honestly wish we would have done it sooner. Interestingly, there's even an M SATA slot inside this tiny laptop for a second SSD if I ever want one. But I don't personally need any more storage space right now. Next up is ports. I really love this computer because it has so many different ports. I think I can honestly say I've used every single one of them at some point, and I've even added a few more. The Lenovo ThinkPad X220 comes with three USB ports, but only one of them is USB 3. When Steven does data backups, he sometimes needs to transfer between two external hard drives, which takes forever over a USB 2. So he uses this express card, which gives my computer two extra USB 3.0 ports. It was pretty cheap too. Unfortunately, none of those ports are the new USB-C style. So I bought a USB-A to USB-C adapter on eBay for 75 cents, which will let me plug newer peripherals into my PC. Speaking of USB-C, my most recent mod, which I've just finished today, was replacing this ugly yellow barrel charging port with a modern USB-C power port instead. I'm in. It's not a data port, but it lets me and Steven charge simultaneously off this one laptop power brick. So now we only have to carry a single wall adapter when traveling. Plus I can share chargers with anyone who has a newer computer and it just looks prettier too. By the way, if you enjoy frugal life hacks like these, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Okay, so aside from the actual upgrades, we've also done some maintenance over the years to keep this computer running like new. Like take the CPU, for example. Sadly, I can never put in a new processor because it's soldered to the motherboard, but my 2.7 gigahertz i7 is still very fast, for now anyway. To keep it running at peak efficiency, I recently applied fresh thermal paste and pads. Remember, a cool CPU is a happy CPU. Along those same lines, it doesn't cost anything to blow the dust out of your fan whenever you have your computer opened up. The most expensive maintenance item has been my battery. They don't last forever, especially when you use them every single day like I do. I think I'm on my third one now at about $50 a piece. Luckily, they pop in and out really easily with the flick of a switch. So all together, after 12 years, my laptop has gone from this to this for a grand total of under $1,200. Considering I used it to make my entire living and then some, I'd say it was a pretty good deal. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe or follow along on your favorite social media platform.